Hola, mi nombre es Vanessa Sánchez y bienvenidos al 2021 Gold Virtual Achievement Gala. Estoy emocionada de estar acá con Marcy Sims, presidenta de la Fundación Sai Sims y una de nuestras homenajeadas este año. Hi, I'm Vanessa Sanchez and welcome to the 2021 Virtual Gold Achievement Gala. I am so excited to be here with Marcy Sims, president of the Sai Sims Foundation and one of our 2021 gala honorees. Welcome, Marcy. Hola, me... Vanessa. Hola. <laughs> you and your family foundation, the Sai Sims Foundation, have been incredible partners to the Girl Scouts of Greater New York over the years. I am currently enrolled in the Leadership Institute, which you have supported. Thank you. Can you share with us what you think makes a great leader and why? Uh, from my personal experience, leaders are people who are passionate about what they do and their passion is something that inspires others. They're also people who tend to focus in on something that gives them purpose. And that purpose creates the energy in their lives to really find the message that they want to convey, whether it's uh, planting flowers in the community or creating a food bank or, getting a doctorate in philosophy, the, the combination of passion and focus and the ability to communicate what that passion is, creates the groundwork for leadership. Many times when you think of leaders, you think of captains of industry, but in reality, it comes leadership comes in different forms, whether it's like you said, planting a plant or creating a big project. What are some challenges and barriers that you have faced as a woman and how have you overcome those challenges? I started really in broadcasting uh, when I left college and I only joined my father's company after he had asked me. And uh, I really loved the business that he was in. He sold designer clothing at discounted prices. And I was convinced that if I joined my father and worked with him, I would find less barriers to my progress than I would in the experience that I had in the jobs that I had had before I joined Sims. And those experiences included uh, sexual harassment and people stealing my ideas and, you know, all that, that those kinds of things that just happen in the course of business. When I joined my dad, he allowed me to pursue those things that I was most interested in at the same time growing our business, the Sims clothing stores. And gratefully, we got to a point where it was so successful that we were able to sell shares on the New York Stock Exchange. And I became the youngest woman to be a president of a New York Stock Exchange company. And with the proceeds of that effort of going public, we created the Sci Sims Foundation back in 1985. How can girls prepare themselves for a career in business? Any experience is good experience. I myself pursued a career that had nothing to do with my academic studies. I had a a college degree in English literature, and I have a master's, master's degree in communication. Of course, communication is something you can always use, but I must say there's nothing that I've studied or experienced that I don't use in business because business is about everything. What advice do you have for young women and girls who want to support organizations and causes that they are passionate about? Start small. Just by being a volunteer, you can learn so much about an organization. And if you continue to feel the, the draw that that organization creates in you, that you want to know more, you want to do more, you want to be more a part of it, then that's an organization you can stick with and rise up in the management, in uh, being a fundraiser, being part of the board eventually. In school, we have Key Club, which as it's a community-based club, which is meant to help our school and help the neighborhood. So I, as you said, I started off small. 
I just joined because I thought it was very interesting and I like doing community service. So I entered and slowly started getting to meet new people. And this year I was elected vice president. So I think it's that's really how I was able to apply your advice and what you talked about being leaders in organizations. I'd love to know more about the project that you did to become a recipient of the Gold Award. During quarantine, you know how a lot of people were stuck indoors. I went on YouTube and saw a video of how to start journaling. And it was how to start creating different tasks and how to express yourself through a journal. And I found it to be really helpful. So now I have a journal of my quarantine. And I was like, this is a good idea. I should bring this to more girls. And I started doing research if this was possible. So then I found out that many people say that it's a good way to relieve your mental health. It's a good way to organize yourself. So I was like, I can bring this to my troop and different Girl Scouts that I know. So I created uh, my project Scribble Therapy, which is a seven day program and a website that you could take online. And it explains the different steps on how to start a bullet journal or art journal, which are both good uh, things I like to do. And I still do them today. Wow. Yeah. Journaling. If you could give one piece of advice to all young women and girls in New York City, what would it be? Listen to your inner voice. Try to block out all the noise around you of telling you who you should be, what you're expected to be, what you must be. And listen to your inner voice and how you respond to experiences because your inner voice will tell you where you should go. And if you surround yourself with healthy people, positive experiences, then that inner voice will give you the right direction for you to fulfill your unique destiny, your unique reason for being. By you telling people to like listen to their own voices, it's really encouraging because they're like, you could do more. You don't have to agree with what everybody else sees. You can be yourself. It has been my pleasure and an absolute delight to have this opportunity to get to know you better and to share this experience with you, Vanessa. And you are such an example of how wonderful the Girl Scouts are. They are so lucky to have you as a member. And I'm so proud to be doing this video with you for everyone to see and be as proud of you as I feel right now. 